Uh, yeah, so Thomas uh, started some um, prototype about machine learning and mm -hmm. he's going to show his results. Okay. Woo. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, and hello out there in the world. So, um, during the corona crisis, I developed a small prototype that was about infection and what you see here is a play field with, with some balls and there are red balls and white balls and when one of the receptors is pretty the rule is pretty simple if one of the red ball touches a white ball the white ball becomes a red ball and over time the red ball becomes a green ball and will not be affected anymore and what as a player you can do, you can play so slow fields um, to prevent collisions. And the game of the goal is that, uh, um, that you have at any moment in time in the game the red line pretty low and to, to win the level. Yeah. So the game it's I made the game that the different stages are deterministic, which means um, if you enter the thing, you get the same layout in, in every stage. It is also chaotic, which means that only a small change in the beginning settings will change the outcome of, of the whole thing um, later on. Um, so in the end, it's kind of a puzzle game where you need to set the slow fields in the correct time on the correct position. Um, two weeks ago, the first version of um, mm. Unity ML Agents has been released. So I tried to get my hands on this and I thought it's a pretty good scenario to um, to apply machine learning on it. You have a pretty clear observation space, you have this, uh, this, this force, a limited amount, and um, the position, and how machine learning works is it observes the surroundings, and it tries then some action, and you tell it if the action was good or was bad. So in this case, did you pass the lever, or did you not pass the lever? So I uh, followed up with tutorials and implemented um, um, the, the agent for it, and it turns out well, it can't learn it for somehow for some reason. I could not get any results, so I figured out well, actually, the game how it is. The first slow field matters the most; all the others are pretty boring. I fixed it down to that let the AI only place five fields. Did not make a difference, was still unable to learn it. Then I put it down that it just can place one field. And the game is also solvable with just placing one field. And I would have expected that, um, that I get pretty easy results for that. Um, I did also a visualization. What you see here is more or less a problem room. So actually this lever you saw, the, all the green dots you would place the slow field, you would win the game, or the red dots you would lose, or the blue dots I haven't tried more or less. Actually it's a pretty simple problem and I was quite surprised that I, I could not um, train something for that. So I went up for tuning the uh, the hyperparameters on how to train neural networks and I've gone um, through a lot of them and all these fancy words epsilon, gamma, beta, you have no clue what they what they are meaning but there is a cool description and also the description doesn't make it much more clear it's a lot of experimenting around but um, after going deeper into it, I, I managed to, um, to train a network that is now able to, um, to solve this puzzle. And actually, it's not a pretty good achievement because um, it's just two numbers, an X and an Y coordinate. But 
the North are only managed to solve it 90% of the times. And what I'm showing here um, in, uh, is the tensor board, what you use for training. And I picked up two training sessions where I'm comparing different algorithms and showcasing just one of the problems. Let's focus on the, on the orange line. This was a training that was more or less successful. Um, the community reward means um, about 80% of the learners have been solved. And the blue line was another training session where it fails for 100% after some reason because it just stops trying out new things or that doesn't remember the old thing. So that was my last week, let's say. What I'm now continuing further is using a different feature. Maybe slow, slow fields are also not simple enough. I'm now focus on an immunity field. I'm curious if I, if I manage to come up with an agent that is going to uh, predict a good position within the play space where it should, where the player should place this immunity field. So, any questions? Question in the chat here. Yeah. Uh, what architecture are you using? Um, the algorithm behind is PPO, uh, proximity optimization. What is your impression, overall impression of Unity ML so far? Well, it's pretty great if you get started with it and you go through the tutorials. It's very amazing how much you can do and how easy it seems to be. But uh, then when I started to do my first own things, it became pretty frustrating because it's really hard to find this, the correct hyperparameter on how to train a network. And I uh, also talked with other people, well, you can apply an algorithm, a grid search that finds the perfect hyperparameter for you for the problem. So you apply another machine learning algorithm on pro uh, proximity op optimization, which is already an optimization algorithm for other neural network algorithms. <laughs> and uh, neural network algorithm is a parameterization for finding um, correct weights, so it's the fourth abstraction level. <laughs> so to be clear, you, have, you felt that you had to add uh, non-ML uh, ML code in order to be able to use uh, ML the way you want it to be. Like you, you had needed to add your own uh, custom machine learning in order to... Mm, I did not yet write an own algorithm. I guess that's, that's also possible, but um, I was thinking about to write uh, a tool that helps me to optimize the hyperparameters. For now, I'm just um, making shell scripts that runs different sessions in parallel and and I'm just preparing it by hand because it's not that much level of, of handwork to do. And maybe it becomes easier and easier over time when you better and better understand the hyperparameters. Okay, thank you.